What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer. Taking a look at the new, well, you'll see it in a second, Reka support. So it's this plant, insect, and I think zombie, or reptile, excuse me. It's reptile, not zombie. Reptile archetype. And it mixes a lot of things together, and it leaves room for very wide interpretation besides, like, being its own deck. So I'm going to show you all of them. You can literally connect, like, four different archetypes together into one so let's take a look and see where this goes i'm gonna try to like play this deck for real at some point and like play like a real engine but let's see how freaky how weird you can get with this archetype so one co this is a one and a half card combo but i guess two but you just need two discard fodder so it's more like a one and a half card combo so here goes snake rain the monster doesn't matter at all you're sending four uh you get to bring out the night sword serpent so you're obviously you know dumping all these agnotic monsters to then special summon themselves. So this tributes special summons, brings out a buddy, and then this guy, when it's summoned, brings gives you a Ogdotic spell and trap. Okay, so the Ogdotic spell and trap lets you tribute a reptile monster. I think it, I don't know if it's Ogdotic. Um, yeah, it's reptile monster. And for every two levels that it had, you get a token, which is insane because the new Link monsters, you know, only, like the only requirement is that they're plant, insect, or reptile monsters. So meaning these tokens can be really used to abuse Link summoning. So then I can go into the rank four to search one of the cooler combo enablers, I guess, uh, which is Serpentine Princess. So this card lets you get access to the rake engine if you don't draw it, which is very good. So there we go. I'm going to tribute to eight. So I get four tokens, which is really, really nice. I can normal summon the Serpentine Princess. And then now I can start climbing to the link two, the link three, the link four, and the link five. So the link three gets you the trap. So by the end of this combo, you'll have the ability to pop three cards on the field. And then there we go. All the link monsters have the special ability. You can target a monster on the field, turn it to the deck to special summon it from the graveyard. So that's why it's like really good to like link up one at a time. Boom, 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 boom. So the link five, when your opponent special summons, I think from the deck or extra deck, you get to pop two monsters on the field, which I guess is some form of interruption. So the link four can now come back and now I have like a bunch of zones. I have like three zones left. Um, and Reka, when it's sent to the deck, it triggers from the deck. Interesting. And it lets you bring out a... It's something. I don't know. what It gives you a lot of options, I think. It lets you special summon... Sorry. I just want to make sure I know what I'm talking about. A level 3 or lower... Oh, any level 3 or lower monster from your deck. Interesting. Okay. That's a very interesting effect. Uh, so you can bring out Lone Fire Blossom. This is where the other archetypes are going to start connecting. So, so far, we've gone through Agdotic and Reka. Lone Fire Blossom can now tribute itself to finally bring out the Reka main play of the deck, uh, which is the whatever this is called. So you get to add two to your hand, banish one. So obviously you're just going to like, you know, bring this back. You know, you can link summon multiple times. And when this card is link summoned, it lets you bring back a buddy. So I'm going to go ahead and bring back Lone Fire Blossom. So then now I can go into the Preta Plant engine, which helps you get access to the Bee Trooper engine, right? Everything is connected. This gives you a Monster Reborn ability, which is very nice. So you can banish this card from the graveyard, shuffle a banished reptile to send a reptile to the uh, graveyard. So this is a level four, and that's important. Uh, okay, so now you can go into the Sun Avalon uh, Link monster. I can return that to the deck, and now I can go into Instant Fusion, <laughs> which is ridiculous. So this is the Bee Trooper monster. I like it because Instant Fusion obviously is only at one. So now the Link 3 doesn't really do anything uh, to itself, so you can just use it as fodder. So it's an insect monster, which is important. So the Instant Fusion gets you the Bee Trooper card. This gets you the giant Bee Trooper Invincible Atlas. So now it contributes itself to bring out the um, Sting Lancer. Sting Lancer can get you the trap. And then there we go. Now I can go into Trap Tricks. So I've connected all of them. Like I said, this is obviously super silly. I think it's more fun that it's even just possible to do this. Um, but yeah, this is Trap Tricks for Flesia. This is, again, the one that pops when your opponent summons from the deck. If your opponent activates a monster effect, they can't activate monster effects from the hand. Whatever that's worth, it's technically an interruption. Uh, this gives you the interruption, the bloom. So this is a super mega imperm. This is a monster negate, which is a counter trap, which is pretty cool. And then this lets you pop three cards. It depends. Insect, reptile, and plant. So I have all three on the board right here. Meaning that this gets the maximum of its effect. Hopefully your opponent doesn't have spell and trap cards. That's obviously like the worst part about it. Technically, you know, this card can pop like field spells and continuous spells and such. But 
Yeah, I mean, if your opponent is playing a monster heavy deck, you you won, right? There's no way your opponent's playing through this super imperm monster negate pops multiple cards. This pops cards. This is Rafflesia, so it's more fun. I'm um, I'm kind of interested in seeing what it can really do in trap tricks, kind of making it a more combo oriented deck, which I think is very interesting and very intriguing. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Other than that's going to do it for today's video, and I will see you guys next time.